Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and it's time for the final assault on Kucha's Lair on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! To get there, just fly over to the Aoife tree, hit the circle button, sit back, and enjoy the show, viewers. There she is. How bad could it possibly be? Whoa, holy crap! Where'd he get all those dragons? I thought we were just gonna fight Mystodons and just use Phoenix Downs on them. He can't possibly take on that many of them. Even with the firepower of this thing. Huh? What was that? Where'd they come from? Yeah! Kick it! <laughs> kind of reminds me of the uh, Giant of Babel, only more epic, if that were possible. <laughs> well, it looks like the uh, Hildegard 3 is okay. That's good to know. Yeah, how'd he know that? Oh. Yeah, I suppose so. Does this thing have any cannons besides the big cannon? No. You suck. Well, I hope that thing's crash resistant. Does this ha thing have any airbags? Your side does. I don't know about my... Yeah, don't worry! We're all gonna die! No. Nah, no. Nah. Well, he is acting like one. He's a Pluto Knight. I knew it! I'm surrounded by assholes! Keep firing, assholes! <laughs> what do you mean by that, Steiner? Well, that was just pillow talk, babe. Alright, we made it. I love that. So epic. And they die. For boss time! I've got my party set up as I have listed in the video description there, so let's take this guy out. The Nova Dragon, the mother of all dragons. Got a particular item that I want to steal, so let's go to it. Now, one thing you could do against the Nova Dragon, he is susceptible to sleep. You could, uh, what is it? You could try to uh, use uh, Zidane's Ultima weapon and then use Soul Blade to inflict sleep on the Nova Dragon there, but I'm not going to because it takes too damn long to get it to work and it doesn't last very long. He'll wake up from sleep very quickly. But anyway, part of the reason why I've got Auto Reflect on everyone is so that I can bounce Reflect off of everyone and hit him with it four times. It's like Quadra Magic, sort of. I'm not going to have Dagger do much. I'm just going to have her on standby there. She's mostly around just so she can learn... Uh, what's that spell? Uh, learn her Arc Summon, or at least work on it. If I need some healing, I could use Chakra because I have uh, the Power Up ability equipped on it, which boosts its power. Uh, let's see. Let's try throwing another wing edge at the guy. Well, if I can't get the item I'm looking for soon, then... Well, I don't want to kill this guy, so, uh... Well, I'll get the item I need off-screen. However I need to do it. Whatever. I'll give Zidane a few more tries. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to waste my trance stealing, but... Well, oh, well. Okay, that's it for damage now, but, uh... Yeah, everyone's got, uh, wind absorption equipment, except for Dagger there, because... Well, I can't equip her with the ribbon, unfortunately. Oh, well. Oh, come on, Zidane. You can do better than that. Uh-oh, Twister. But, yeah, with BB, uh, if, you, if you're if you looking in the video description there, you'll notice that he doesn't have the Robe of Lords, which normally he would. But the reason I don't is because the Robe of Lords... Uh, nullifies uh, wind or elemental damage. 
and the, uh, the, no, there we go, Dragon Wish. One more. But the wind nullification overrides the wind absorption of the ribbon. So you actually don't want him to have the Robe of Lords for this battle. Okay, I'll get the item off screen. All right, there we go. We got the Grand Armor. That's mostly what I cared about there. So now let's just use water on everyone. Part of the reason why I'm using the water spell is because it deals a, well, it just deals a lot of damage. But more than that, uh, you can actually boost its damage with the Octagon Rod, which is also one of the reasons why I have that equipped instead of something else. So there we go. But yeah, easy to deal max damage with that spell. And there's also some other reasons why I've got Auto Reflect on everyone, but uh, soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Thievery. Uh, I think I want to save my wing edges for later. Being a Final Fantasy game, of course, uh, most of the final bosses are flying, of course. Absolutely. All right, we got it. Now, it kind of reminds me of uh, uh, how Griever died. Whoa, holy cow. I love the dissolve effects that they use for their boss. Bosses. <laughs> All right, but yeah, the grand armor—that's uh, for Steiner or Freya. I don't think I'm going to use it, but it's there. It's, if not the best, one of the best armors in the game. So, all right. Well, where are you guys going? Oh yeah, Kina is our technical advisor now. That's great. Well, suppose we go nowhere. Well, then I suppose it'd be your chance to get away from it all, Zidane. Now, nah, now nah, we're just going to uh, teleport uh, down to the other side. Or wherever the hell we are. What is this place? Well, we're going down to the Aoife tree, but that doesn't look like the Aoife tree. Well. Hmm? You say something? No, no, there would have been a text box. I didn't see a text box. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're going stir-crazy, Zidane. Zidane. No, no, just, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Zidane. Huh? Oh, now someone's talking to him. Garland? I thought he was dead. Well, sort of dead, I guess. This is Memoria, the final area in the game. Huh. Well, that's weird. Kind of a cool way of making a final area, though. Nice touch. Nice music for the final area, too. Kind of creepy and everything. You're not going to tell us, are you, Garland? Yeah, we, we thought you were going crazy. Huh. And what does that mean? No, no, it doesn't mean anything. Always move forward. Uh, I think I'm just going to stick with the party that I've got here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got the Aura Chalcon, but now I don't need the Black Robe equipped anymore. Because it, you see... Uh, huh? Oh. Oh, wait, I was thinking of the uh, Robe of Lords. It reduces wind damage and... That, like I was saying, that overrides the water, wind absorption, which you really want to have against the uh, the Nova Dragon there. So, there we go. Heal up. You always want to heal up outside of battle, because we got Auto Reflect on everyone. But I really like having Auto Reflect in this area. You don't have to have it, but I like it. I think it's a good idea. Well, this place is being built as we go through it. That's kind of freaky. Yeah... No more save moogles, I'm afraid. You can just switch, save, ten. I'm kind of disappointed, but uh, how am I doing on MP? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing fine for now. So, uh, let's head on over here. For a random battle, why not? Let's see what we got. Got an Iron Giant. So let's see, this guy is weak to thunder. So, what we want to do... Uh, a lot of the enemies around here have uh, an elemental weakness. So that's why I've got 
the auto reflect on everyone so that way Vivi can bounce it off of us and hit him with it. So that's pretty nice. So if you go with uh, like the proper elemental spell, quadruple magic on it, or quadra magic on him, and then go with a thievery, maybe an attack from Amaranth. I almost said Dameranth again. But you do that, and you should be able to take him out. Most of the enemies here have a little over 20,000 HP, but nothing that we can't handle. Get him tonight. Let's see how powerful my thievery is now. Ooh, almost max damage. Maybe by the time I'm done with this area, we'll be there, but... All right, got him. Another thing you can do to pretty much every enemy in the final area is you could equip the Sargitanus on Zidon and then just go to town on every enemy in here where so that you can, uh, you'll just, you'll stone the enemies and the, everyone is susceptible to stone. So that's pretty nice, but I'm not going to abuse that. I think it's a little too abusive here. But anyway, here we got the Cane's Lance for Freya there. Awesome. Uh, I was thinking of heading back to the save point to use a tent, but nah. If I need to restore MP, I've got Elixirs. Or Chakra, for that matter. And of course, as we all know, Final Area has to have a clock tower. Absolutely. No. Nah. No, nah, it was actually just the last game in this one, really. Huh. I still like the clock tower, though. And I do like new enemies, like this one, the Chimera. All right, let's take him, guys. Chimera is weak to, what is he weak to? Ice, there we go. So let's go use that. And yeah, try to steal something from him. And then, same thing as before, just use the right element, and that's all you gotta worry about. If you cast the elemental spell directly on the guy there, I don't think it'll deal max damage. So that's why I've got auto reflect going on everyone. And it kind of makes it interesting. You know, I like using the auto reflect ability. So, you know. Because then some of their spells will bounce. Do I have any? Yeah, I got antibody. Ha! You are no match for me! Get him, Zidane. Getting close to that max damage there. Not close enough, really. Yeah, I know. There was. What was that ability? Dragon's Quest? Dragon? I almost said Dragon Quest. No. Dragon Crest for uh, Freya there. It, like damage something with the number of dragons you kill. Yeah, I, I didn't really care to uh, grind that out or build it up. But if you want to grind against, uh, you know, uh, Grand Dragons, hey, knock yourself out. You'll have another max damage attack. There's also Frog Drop and a Hidden Treasure here. Now, uh, Frog Drop can also deal max damage uh, if you got enough levels, but I didn't. Uh, what did I just get? Oh, it's the tower there. Yeah, another weapon for Zidane. Kind of a weird name for a weapon, but, well, there you go. Uh, yeah, if you didn't get the ultimate weapon, I guess that would be a little stronger, but I like the Aura Chalcon for the speed boost to help out with, uh, with Thievery there, because speed helps boost his damage. But what else will my memories create in this place? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!